What's going on guys? It's it's Tenedora from the nerdhair.com and I know I've done a review on this before if you look through my video channels or even through my other blog posts you'll see I did a review of ADW Launcher EX. It's a home replacement for your Android smartphone and tablet. However that was a few months ago and that was on an older version of ADW Launcher which ran fairly well on your gingerbread devices. Um, recently, however, this week, AD Enderwebs, which is the, uh, the, the people who develop uh, ADW Launcher, updated it and completely refreshed the UI to help with uh, ICS and Honey, and um, not Honey, ICS and Jelly Bean. So there is a complete UI refresh on the application itself. It's still the same as ADW Launcher or ADW Launcher EX for the paid version of ADW Launcher, which gives you a slew of new features. So let's go ahead, open ADW Launcher EX for the first time and see what you're greeted with that's new. Let's go ahead, press home and ADW Launcher EX. Okay, so here it shows you a change log, uh, a change log, a change log. Uh, shows you some of the new features you see here pop-up menus for um, double tapping on the uh, applications and or the actions because you can add action to the home screen uh, there's the action bar this is new it has the search bar up top added with an, um, an app drawer or you can set up here voice search or ADW setup uh, by default I believe it is the app drawer uh, you have a ton of different transition I was using this before on my tablet I am not kidding. There are about nine or ten different transitions you can use for uh, going through screens and even through your app drawer. Um, at Widget Picker is okay, so it's only on Jelly Bean and you know, higher. Um, I guess just four point one devices, so I won't be able to test this out on my Galaxy uh, Galaxy S three. So this is using four point one point four. Uh, you have gestures. Okay, you can resize the screen. Not bad. So you can change the margins on the screen and make you know add for um uh, more icon space. Not bad. Okay, take a look at the app drawer. So like I said before, you have a bunch of different styles and transitions for the app drawer. Um, I was pretty um cool with the um I was pretty impressed actually with the uh, the spherical view. It's actually very nice and it takes advantage of the uh, graphics on the on the newer devices pretty well. So here you can, this is an example of the spherical view, so it, you know, previously you would see like lag when you're using these kinds of, of launchers. Here there's no lag whatsoever, mainly in part because of the devices we have now with, uh, you know, quad-core processors. I and mean, this is just a dual-core, but it's like, well, I think it's 1.5 gigahertz dual-core processor. So, you know, these faster devices with more RAM allow for better transitions. Uh, okay, grouping, fine. Uh, better folder management so you can change folder. I guess well, that's always been their folder management and folder sorting But you can change the way the previews look uh, similar to Nova Launcher or um, I forgot what the other one was. Well, I've, I mainly just use Nova Launcher Prime uh, Item management, okay tweaking so you can oh, you can mess around with the behavior of the action bar with the desktop screen Okay, set up yeah, setups and of course, because this is ADW, you have a ton of themes you can find in the Play Store. So let's go ahead and press back. And okay, here we go. Welcome. We will guide you through some of the main application options. So slide the page to start. And then you can choose your the behavior of the action bar. So it rotates with the device orientation, maintains position with the orientation changes, or you want action bar not to show at all. Uh, let's take a look at what it looks like. So let's leave it on the defaulted one. And then you can choose the design of the uh, action bar. So let's go with the black one. I'm a fan of the, of dark colors. Behavior of the dock. They want the dock to rotate with the screen or to just stay. Yeah, let's rotate. Why not? Let's take a look at what it looks like. And there's the design of the dock. And let's add reflections to it. Um, desktop indicators. Um, what do I want? Let's do sliding bottom. I haven't seen this before. Let's take a look at what that is. Uh, app drawer. Okay, so here's uh, some of the new transitions here. Let's do the uh, the ball. I don't the ball. I don't think. Ugh, so many different ones. That's a cube. I haven't done cube in a while. Take a look at cube. In terms of transitions for the home screen on the desktop, what what I like. So see, here's what I'm telling you. There's a bunch of um, different transitions you can use. So let's do ICS pages. Actually, no, let's do cube inverse. Let's take a look at that. 
Okay, and we are finished. So these are just basic um, the ba basic settings for your desktop. Obviously, once we get into it, we take a look at what you can do here. We're going to look through the settings and see what you can add to it. So, okay, here it is. Um, the font's a little off because I'm using a custom font. This is the Bauhaus font. But as you can see here, things are pretty smooth. There, There isn't any lag here. I'm able to go through the screens without any issue. Uh, by default, it has the uh, scroll looping. I'll take that off on my own later on. And here is the app drawer. Um, I really like the animation. It's not bad whatsoever. Uh, don't like that the uh, widgets are not added with the uh, app drawer. That, that kind of bothers me. Um, let's see. Yeah, then you got to add widgets and then it comes out in that format. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that. Um, let's see what else can we add here. So I, I see here on the side to the left is the action bar. So by pressing there, I can also access the applications or I can access Google now. See, here's what I'm telling you. So that's what I was telling you about before, that you can add more screen real estate. So I can literally have the icons there with the uh, the dock. I mean, with the, um, yeah, literally hanging out with the dock if I wanted to. So I don't want to mess with it, just leave it alone. Let's take a look at the ADW settings. So let's go through your screen. You can change the uh, design of the action bar, like I said before. Let's take the action bar out for now. Since there's no action bar, you need the action bar to rotate. Uh, let's leave the columns and rows the same. Gives me more um, screen real estate. Prefer it that way. Don't like infinite scroll. Uh, show desktop outline. Sure. Desktop bounce. I do not like. Okay, good. It's gone. I don't. I don't like that at all. Don't like wallpaper scrolling. Don't like sense previews. Uh, indicators the way it's supposed to be. App drawer. Uh, show application filtering tab. Sure. Hide the dock. Yeah. Drawer columns, that's completely fine. Doesn't look like there's any way to add the um the widget here. Fade to black for the for the 4D drawer. Okay, let's leave that. Let's look at the icons. So let's see, where can we change the um the icon colors? I mean not the colors, yeah, the icons themselves. Hmm, look like it's not here. I'm gonna look for for themes. Sorry, real themes are down there. Let's go through it here. Folders, folder style, uh, cube. Yeah, fine. Folder previews. I want them on a grid. Um. Yeah, let's put them on a grid. Uh, show label. Sure. Okay, that can stay the same. I love this uh, auto close folders. By the way. I don't know if you noticed before with jelly with not jelly bean, with uh, gingerbread in particular, like, um, folders just stay open after you left the application. It was really annoying to have to you know manually close a folder. Um, app dock, dock style. Yeah, I have asked the uh, tablet mode. Let's leave it that way. And I us just put back into phone phone mode. Uh, auto close the dock. Let's leave it like that. Um, anything else I want to put here? Trying to duck if there are less icons. I expected sure. Uh, okay, go back. Gestures. I'm not a fan of gestures at all. But um, you can add different actions to the home button. So show previews. Um, obviously no, because I have not, I disabled sense previews. So let's just do. Mm. Yes, open and close the app drawer. Why not? Pinch in, swipe up. I don't like any of these gestures. So themes. So here you have the default theme. You have custom mixing. Then you press get theme. It will take you to the Play Store. So like I said before, you can download a slew of themes and just install them. Whether it changes the wallpaper, the icons, transitions, it's all there. Some of them are free. Some of them are not. Just have to deal with it that way, and then you can set up different presets. So, very similar to how EDW Launcher EX used to have presets there. Keep that away, advanced settings for um, different uh, options, status bar, stretching on widgets. Basically, all of these you can get here. Okay, anything else I want to see here? No. Oh, wait, yeah, on system. Uh, I think it was a restart, yeah. Close and restart ADW launcher. Okay. So everything takes place now. Everything's got a fight. You see, I have more screen real estate. 
So if I want to change the um, what you call it the uh, the grid layout, I can add more icons to the grid now. And as you see, I uh, just resize screen. The screen can resize, so I can make this literally go through the whole way, and just keep adding icons or whatever. So that we can go back to ADW settings and change the uh, the um the columns and the rows. Let's just increase each one by one. Five and the rows. Five, and then you'll see that it's now. It gives me more space for uh, icons and whatnot. Go there and just keep adding things. So it gives you a lot of real estate for uh, application icons and for a widget. So give me one second. I'm going to rotate the screen and just quickly see what this looks like. You might not notice it too much on the video, but it looks pretty nice. I have a lot of space I can tell on the screen. And as you see there, adding icons is convenient. Um, like we chose in the settings before, we can change the way icons, um, the folders look here. So the way I add them, it just goes in and then everything comes out in a straight line and then there. And you can also categorize the icons like it shows you before. You have it alphabetically. Um, clicking, clicking, clicking. No, application settings, hold on. Say what? Okay, that's weird. Can I open messaging? Yeah, okay, yeah. Close there. So it's just that wasn't working. Open email, sure. So yeah, you tap the top right corner of the folder and you can change the categorization of the folder. Supposedly, anyway. Um, transitions, like I showed you here, I have ICS paginated. And then the app drawer is the cube. So yeah, guys, there's a lot of... um. A lot of different things you can customize here with uh, ADW Launcher EX. Now, ADW, this is, of course, the paid version EX. Um, there's a free version ADW Launcher, which doesn't give you access to gestures. That's typical of these home launchers. They force you to pay for the added features. And the biggest um, feature of it is the uh, gestures, which I personally could care less about. But um, I do like this. It does look like it's going to be a very good um, device that you can use. Um, not device, I'm sorry, home launcher for your replacement for your uh, home screen uh, works very well and I'm very pleased with this so if you guys want you can check it out it's in the Play Store now uh, they did a pretty good job with this refresh so yeah guys until next time this is Tenodoro from the nerdherd.com and we'll see you later